Hey everybody, on this video we have a uh, Lexus RX 300 door lock and we're going to try to pick and decode it with the Toy 48 Leashy. Uh, my last video showed you how to direct read these without actually picking. Uh, that'll be up in the corner, so I'll be sure and check that out. Uh, for this one though, we are going to go ahead and pick it. And as you can see, this is a four lifter Leashy, which uh, I thought was kind of intimidating, but it's really, really not that bad. So basically you got two tracks A and B and two lifters per track is what it kind of amounts to and the way this is uh configured in my vice here we have one three and five going down on both tracks and then two and four going up on both tracks which you can very easily feel so you can figure out that part of it and then we'll just need to pick it twice and we'll be able to actually uh, read it okay so if we can all see and uh so put some uh, tension on here kind of medium heavy tension and just start on one on the A track. So one, three, and five are not ready to pick. So we'll head upstairs. Okay, two is binding. Back off tension here. Get a nice click. And you know, once you back off tension, you know, get the click and reapply it. Same thing on four to back off. Get a click. So let me head back downstairs on the A track here. Okay, three is binding. Nice click on three. And yeah, I thought I heard something drop here. Yeah, so four is binding again on the A track. Click on four, two still feels okay. So switch to the B track. Okay, one, three, five feel okay. Okay, four is binding on the B track. Nice click on four. Okay, two feels like it's uh, binding. And maybe not. It feels kind of weird. Kind of get a feeling for these things. So I'm just going to skip it for right now. So, you know, let's go back to it. So now I'm A track going down. I got five binding. And it clicked. Three is still good. One is not ready to pick. Four is still good, two is still good, so let me switch back to the B side here. Okay, and four is binding again on the B side, and we now have it picked halfway. So I just got to pick it uh, one more time here to be able to read it. So I'm going through the A side, nothing, switch to the B side. I gotta click on four. Okay, four I actually clicked twice here. Now we're actually uh, rotated. And I hope everybody can actually see this to read it here. Um, I had to kind of configure everything a little different than I normally do because this lock did not want to sit in my vise like other locks do. So, doing the best I can here. Okay, so hopefully everybody could see. And now to read it, uh, it's not bad. We'll just make sure you got the right lifter. So we're going to read the A side first. So I got one. Three, five, three, and five. So that's our A side. One, three, five, three, five. And we'll switch to the B. And then there's a one, one, one. Five and one, so one 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 five one, and then um, I've already cut the key for it here. But before we can put the key in, we do have to actually pick it back because uh, right now we're kind of in limbo between two positions, and so the uh, key would not even enter the keyway. So 
So let me uh, let's see. Four was the last one to pick to go the other way. So. Sorry guys, let me readjust the vice here. So we're going to rotate it back the other direction. And there we go. So some counter rotation and we're picked back to the home position. So now I can go ahead and show you our key. So that is cut to uh you know uh, 13535 and 11151. And you see it works nicely. So, questions, comments, put them in the comments. Uh, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, that's all we got for this one, guys. We will uh, talk to everybody later.